night tonight. So this time uh, we're doing a little differently. It's a ginger hoisin chicken taco. Ooh, which sounds amazing. Exciting, right? And yes. again, let me show you how to make it. It's really yes. simple. I have boneless, skinless chicken thigh here. Yep. To that, I'm just going to add in a little bit of soy sauce. Mm -hmm. If you feel like low sodium, you can do low sodium. I'm talking about a lot of salt today. I don't know what's going on with me. That's but okay. Yeah, and then we're going to add in some hoisin sauce into this. Yeah. And I'm going to give this a little bit of a mix and notice how it's all in this container. I have real honey here, which takes real time to come out. It'll be out for and three minutes. Yeah, there we go. So we're going to add that. We just need a little bit of salt and pepper because I already have the soy. Yeah. But let me just get this in the pan and, and we're going to work on a couple more things for this taco. Yes, brother. Now I say it all the time. If you don't hear that sizzle, you're going to end up steaming or boiling whatever you put into that pan. So again, we have soy sauce, little bit of salt. Yep. Even though soy sauce is salty, it still does not compensate for that salt, okay? We I have black pepper. I love fresh black pepper. <laughs> so, I, 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 there's Do something you? about we it. It's no just idea. so fragrant and it's so perfumey. The heat's a little bit low. I'm going to turn it up. Now, let's work on a couple different things. We okay. have a peanut hoisin sauce that we're going to make. Mm. So, we're going to use peanut butter. I've been wanting to eat that peanut butter since the beginning yeah. of the show. And I'm going to leave it I for you. I just wanted a spoon. And similar so to the same flavors that we put in the chicken, we're going to add in a little bit of soy sauce here. Yeah. We're going to add in a little bit of hoisin as well. And also, oh, right. we need something liquidy in here, so I'm just going to give my lime a little bit of a roll because it makes all the difference when you're squeezing your citrus. That's an age-old technique, but really it makes a huge difference. Yep. And I'm going to get the lime juice into this bowl. So we have the peanut butter, the hoisin, and we also have the lime juice. This hasn't been drank from yet. It might look a little bit awkward, but please don't be alarmed. <laughs> I didn't drink from it yet, but we needed a little bit of water. That's fine. I never really drank that, but it's okay. So then we're going to take Stop this. Stop giving him his water. Yeah. He's not using it. We can take this, and I'll get you to do this, actually. Sure. Just very, you're wearing white, so I know. you, you want to maintain the white. I'm going to do it very gingerly. Okay, that's going to go there. The sauce the meantime, is the thing that's going to make this, though, don't you think? 100%. 100%. And while that's cooking, I have some garlic here. Okay. I'm going to rough chop some garlic and add that into my chicken mixture. Because if I add it in from the beginning, the garlic will... Steam? I don't know. <laughs> Why does he keep asking me? The garlic will burn. Okay, so I'm adding it's going it to burn. Nice big pieces. Uh, we're going to add a little bit more so that comes together because I want you to make a nice little... You want this little... to be a little thinner? I want it to be like a sauce. See how it's all kind of okay. clumping and graining up? Yeah, see, I don't mind that. No? Okay. And, you, put, you know, you got to get the... Get the get, it's smoother. It's get getting it, there. Get in there. It's getting... Next, we're going to work on our slaw. It's a purple yeah. slaw. It's really, really simple. I have grated heirloom carrots, and the reason why I use heirloom is because it sounds cool. No, the reason why I use heirloom is because you get different colors. That's so valid this, too, you know. It is valid. Just it sounds but it's cool. kind of like peachy, mandarin y colors, and I, and I really dig that. That's so beautiful. We're going to add that in. We have purple cabbage as well. Lovely. I have some Chinese Napa here, so I'm just going to take a couple. I like the tips of it because it's like really frilly. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take this and chop this down and I'm going to add this in as well. I like the crunch of it all. Exactly. All so that goes in here. We're going to add uh, some nice little crunch. Similar to our creamy coleslaw dressing, we're going to add in a couple of the same elements here. We have some mayonnaise and we're also going to add some lemon juice into this as well. Okay. And I want to show you how this comes together. I slice my lemons this way too because they're easier to squeeze. Oh, that's what you do. Yeah, that's instead smart. of taking off wedges. And all the seeds are out. Do you want me to turn this back up, or are we good? Yeah, you know what? I think it, it shut off. Yeah, it did. So we're going to turn it back on. Okay. But it's still bubbling away, so we're okay. So we I have, think my sauce is uh, perfect. So you see how it's come together now? Yeah. I just want to show everyone. That's a great job. Guys, Thank give you. her a round of applause. She's so you have... Add a little bit more water, but you like oh. it a little bit thicker. And that's yeah. the cool thing with this recipe, too, is you can just do things however you want to do them. For sure. You can add as much water as you want. I kind of like it like this. And just to demonstrate, I'll just oh, show you. Oh, I see. This is how I want the sauce, right? Got that's it. the peanut sauce. Yeah, that's so, way thinner. So you can do it any way that you want. Okay, I like mine better, but whatever. <laughs> I like yours better, too. Totally Our pan to is, is starting to bubble a little bit more aggressively. Yeah. But with this slaw, I just I don't know if you can get a shot of that, though, but you see all the beautiful colors in here? Yes. What is it missing, though? It's missing one thing. Green? Okay, it's missing green. So. Oh, my gosh, I got that one right. You got that right. You're, oh, you're on a roll no today. Way. We're going to add in some green onion. Okay. And uh, if you want to use cilantro, I'll probably be garnishing these with cilantro. Yeah. I'm going to add all that in there. So again, just to recap in this, we have a lot of beautiful flavors. Mm -hmm. We have that mayonnaise, and then we also have the lemon juice. 
salt and pepper we need to add in here as well. Season everything yes. from a height as well. And you already know what's coming here. Pepper. A lot of black pepper. That's going to come into here as well. Um, if you want to season this with a little bit of garlic, you could as well. One thing I forgot to add to that pan is these are ginger hoisin ginger. tacos. So a lot of times, uh, a lot of people will chop up the garlic really, really fine. But mm -hmm. for me, I kind of like to keep it a little bit chunky. Okay. Like I love ginger teas and things like that, that really intense ginger flavor. Yeah. So I'm going to keep it a little bit thicker. And that it's going to be almost intense. like a little bit of matchstick, a little quarter matchstick here. Okay. And I'm going to add this in. It's going to cook just a little bit as this finishes up. And nice. once this comes together, it's gonna be really, really beautiful. I have my tongs here. This needs to move around. You want this on a much higher heat yeah. than what it is right now. I know, now. I shut down when it's halfway through. I, you know what you it was? See? I think something was sitting on top here and that's what maybe what happened, but it's fine. It'll it's continue cooking. Me. It might have been my sauce. No, it's totally fine, but it's gonna continue cooking. It'll be delicious. Well, because you're such a pro, we already have uh, the final recipe here yep. that you can see. So you've toasted the tortillas like you did the first time around. Yes. Gorgeous, beautiful chicken thigh. You put some of the coleslaw on top. Yep. Threw down a radish. Radish and also cilantro microgreens. And yes. I also want to point out on these as well, these little black bits. Yeah. That's like little bits of ginger and garlic. It's not oh, burnt, but okay. it is kind of charred. And that's what gives a lot of flavor and texture to these tacos, which is why you want yeah. to cook this on a higher heat. So you but want it like that. A super simple a recipe. When, when you put this ginger hoisin chicken with this slaw, with all these beautiful flavors, and then you top it with that peanut hoisin dressing, it's yes. kind of out of control. My peanut hoisin dressing. Thousand percent yours. Amazing. Yeah.